Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mast and welcome back to some more Conquest. Today we're doing an A to Z gameplay guide on Achilles. Now Achilles is one of the stronger warriors at the moment. He has gotten some nerfs so he's probably not going to be touched on too much if not even maybe just not touched on at all at this point because I feel like he's actually getting pretty balanced um, but he does still have a lot of damage compared to most warriors. He is pretty strong in lane with the downside being that he doesn't contribute a whole lot crowd control wise to team fights which a lot of warriors do like Hercules for example. Tons of CC, Achilles not so much, but he, what he does contribute is a lot of mobility, a lot of damage, and an execute, which, you know, is a lot of damage. Going against Changa, which will be interesting. Changa is getting pretty meta at the moment. We did not clear wave at all there. That was terrible on my part. I meant to poke her and clear wave. Instead, we just poked her, which isn't really worth it. So that's pretty dumb. What's she building? She went warriors. She went teleport. She went some mana pots. That's, I don't know why she went mana pot. She's going to get her blue buff. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and try and get her blue buff XP if we can. Blue buff XP is kind of a big deal. We lost it. That sucks. Uh, <laughs> the figures, though, because it's Mercury. Mercury tends to clear buffs really, really quick. It's actually really important. Uh, I don't blame junglers for not doing it, mostly because I don't expect them to be aware of it. But as a jungler and a solo main, um, I definitely have noticed that saving XP, at least if you can, on blue is actually a really big difference for the solo laner because they normally get to level 2 right away. Helps them fight in lane. We'll go ahead and get an auto attack if we can there. Reset the 3 with that. It's kind of the big thing for the 3. I'm sure most of you guys are aware of that. But uh, if you're completely new to Achilles and you don't know... The way the dash works is you dash, you get a strike. If you hit the strike on a god, you get a second one. If you hit it on anything else, um, as in if you only hit it on anything else, you will not get the second dash. So normally using that at least po for poke for once, hitting an enemy god with it is really worth it because then you just get a second one and you can do that. Changa should actually be clearing a lot better here. She's not playing as aggressive as I would be if I was her. Changa is pretty safe normally, but because she didn't build health pot, she's not as much. I would be trying to clear the full wave and instead she's just hitting me in the front creeps. I built tons of potions. I don't care if she hits me. We've got one health chalice and four health pots left. We are fine. It's not a big deal if we take poke. In fact, it's worth poking her because she doesn't have health sustain. Now, she does have her bunny passive, so she might just send that back to base and get a health chalice or something like that. But uh, for now, it's definitely worth going for poke when we can. Plus, we want to build up Warrior's Blessing, so we'll keep doing that. Keep going for that damage on her. Yeah, so far, we're really punishing her. We've got her way under tower. She's losing a little bit of gold. She's losing a lot of HP. Um, and we're getting all the gold from our wave, which is super worth it. Yeah, take some more poke, sweetheart. Okay, so we didn't go any active here. You guys have probably noticed that. You guys are probably complaining about it because everybody always does. Just kidding, I think that only happened in one video. What we're doing is we're maybe going teleport. And because you only teleport... What's up, Kamazots? I don't know why you're ganking, my man. You're not killing me, bro. Have a stun. Wait, have a death? Have a death. <laughs> have a death. Don't just have a stun. Take a death with it. Nice. Unfortunately, we had a couple of deaths in dual lanes. So we didn't get first blood there, but still. Pretty pretty decent. Pretty decent. Normally, if I was in a little bit of trouble in lane, I'd be leveling my 2 right now, because it actually gives you quite a bit of health sustain whenever you're hitting um the wave with your abilities. But because we're not... Oh, okay. You got that done crazy quick. Because we're not needing any health right now, we've got plenty with our pots. We'll just keep leveling our 1 and our 3 and get more damage. Use that to keep punishing her a little bit. Uh, he could maybe look for a gank here if he wants, but actually her blue buff's up, so yeah, let's definitely get that. Let's go rotate over to it. Oh, we might need some help here. We've got ultimate now. We've got ultimate now. This is a fight worth forcing if we can. Well, actually, on the Changa, because she should be a lot more focusable. Mercury, turn this. Turk this, my man. Okay, we will. I will 1v2 this then. I've got ultimate. I'm feeling it. Thank you. There's one execute. I used this way too early. I should have just saved it. We actually maybe could have... Ah, uh, no, we didn't have the damage. Whatever. Let's take the blue buff now. That was really good. That was really good. Because we were level 5 there, I figured that was a good fight to force. Because, you know, we had a big execute that they did not have. Made it pretty worth it. Plus, Achilles just has a lot of early game damage. Changa is good in lane right now, but she's not so much of a PvP god yet. Normally, have to get a little later into the game for that. So, we had a pretty good advantage in that fight. Especially since we also just rotated in a little bit earlier. Get our warrior. Oh, we don't even... We already stacked our warrior's blessing? Wow. I, I did not realize that. That's honestly impressive. I don't think I've ever stacked it that quick. That's pretty nutty. Feeling good about that. Okay, so let's back soon. We don't really need to teleport this game. It's a perfect example of we've already got plenty of farm. We're kind of dominating the lane. This would be a decent game to go back and not get teleport. So I think we will uh, I think we'll do that. I think we'll not get teleport. We will start off Pestilence, which is going to be a great item this game. And we'll go for a Shell. So Shell's going to be a great team fight active. This is the reason I don't buy teleport immediately. 
is if I don't feel like I need it, we can go two team fight actives, which will probably be shell and probably be sprint because they have a decent amount of slows and shell is just a great team fight active. You, you know, you give everybody a shell. Um, so it's pretty decent. But yeah, this is the reason, you know, if you buy teleport, normally you don't ever use it until you go back to base. So you might as well buy it then. This is a perfect example of why that strat works. Pestilence is going to be really good here because they have an Aphrodite support. I think it's support, right? I haven't checked. She might be mid. Um, they have an Aphrodite and they have a Changa solo. And for both of those gods, they have pretty decent amount of healing. Pestilence is going to give us a decent amount of anti-heal, which will be super helpful. Blue buff coming up for both of us right now. We should definitely be ready to invade here. In fact, it's not too big of a deal if we pick this one up. We'll go ahead and refresh it just in case. But we also want to look for invading their blue if we can. Are they here in time? No, Chong got here. We don't know where Kamazots is. So we're going to try and save our... Oh, okay. Mercury got that done quick. And he's on Kamazots right now. We're on Chong. We're a little split. That's kind of... That's kind of... I don't know. It's not even... I wouldn't say it's even my bad. Not that it's his bad either. Ooh. Got through the stun there very luckily. Um, just really unfortunate timing. Like the moment I go in on Chang'a, uh, Kamazot shows up and naturally Mercury's going to go on the Kamazots right next to him. But we got a kill. Doesn't matter. Who cares? How are things looking? Dual lane's a little bit behind. We are looking good everywhere else. We have all the last hits, but Mercury's actually doing really solid, and I feel a little bit bad that he hasn't gotten any of the kills. Uh, we could rotate right now. We cleared that wave pretty early. I don't know if we can really do anything here, but Uller probably will retreat from that red buff soon, so we could kind of make an advanced rotation. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. We've got enough farm lead. We don't really need to worry too much about losing farm. Let's try and help out and see if we can secure a kill here. Yeah, yeah, this could be really good. This could be really good. If Uller actually tries to get out at any point, we could definitely help quite a bit. And Kamazot's maybe looking to get out right now, or is he going to be greedy? He is going to be greedy. We don't have ultimate, though. Okay, I don't know why you did that, my man. <laughs> I did not know why you did that. Does Bacchus have it? We're going to rotate over for the Bacchus, too. Or for the Uller. I'm guessing that's a kill. You got it, boys. You got it. Good stuff. So we missed farm for that. Chonga's going to be able to get a lot of free farm right now. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and clear mid. We've got nobody in mid, so we'll do that. And then we'll rotate solo. Boom. Okay, not, not that exciting. We didn't clear the wave too quick there, but... That was a pretty good rotation. We definitely, we would not have killed the Kamazots without me. I feel like that made it worth it. We also saved Apwa's life, so it's pretty good. Yeah, and that's kind of a perfect example of what you can do with Achilles. Um, compared to some warriors in the early game, he's definitely one of the stronger ones damage-wise and mobility-wise, so we could pretty easily chase that Kamazots down. Changa is just using her two way too early. Let's keep her stunned. There's her ultimate. That's fine. We got the kill anyways. So I will take that happily. Let's see. Did she get her blue? Her blue, I think she had it, right? She had it. She did not have it. There's a chance she got mine since we were gone for so long. We'll go scoop this one up real quick. Oh, can we proxy in time? No, we got to go meet the wave over here. We've got enough of a farm lead. We'll probably look to proxy pretty soon. Start getting wave a little earlier so we can rotate a little better. Uh, we might get pinned in a slightly awkward spot here in a second because she should clear the wave, but I think we'll be okay. Kind of want to back, honestly. Yeah, I think we'll be a little greedy here in a second. We've got a lot of farm, and we've got blue buff, and we've got shell up, and we have ult up. We have, like, everything. So I think we can get away with this. And Chaga's pushing up, actually. So, yeah, we should be able to get away with it. But we're going to proxy the wave real quick. We're going to clear it early. And that way we can uh, more, more realistically get back to base and not really miss farm because we're clearing the wave more in advance before we back. So we, uh, we don't have to get back to the lane quite as quickly. Get our Pestilence done. Get some wards. Sorry, if I sound a little bit bad, I'm sick. I, I, found a little, I sound a little stuffy right now because I am a little stuffy. Okay. But yeah, Pestilence done. This is really good for us against the Changa and the Aphrodite. Unfortunately, in terms of damage we're worried about, it's not too big of a deal. The magic defense isn't all that impactful just because Changa's already behind. We're not dealing with Aphrodite. But on the bright side late game, this will be a great item for us. What we're definitely looking to build next is going to be either... There is a Changa right here. Looks like she's running away though. We're either going to be looking to build into a Nemean or a Breastplate for physical defense. Either of those are pretty good options. Honestly, Mystical Mail wouldn't be the worst option. We are two levels over either of these guys, so I'm actually down to fight this. Levels make a big difference, and we're a pretty strong early game character. I will fight this like an absolute madman, and I think we're going to win it. I forgot she still had her two up. That sucks. We probably still could add a kill there. We will keep diving anyways, because I just don't really care right now. I thought that would kill her. That sucks. <laughs> just okay. Wow, Kamazons did a lot more damage than I expected to. That's my bad. Um, 
Wow, I thought that three would kill her. The, the way I played that was based around that three killing her. Uh, I also got blown up by Kama a little quicker than I expected. We actually would have lived if I shelled in time. Because I had my heals going, and shell would have protected quite a bit. Yeah, I'm surprised. Why did... Why did Screech do... Huh. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. I feel like he should have done less damage there. But we don't have physical defense, so it's not a big surprise. We lost left tower. I could actually care less. Left tower, tier 1 tower, unless you're behind, doesn't really matter. You get a little bit of gold out of it as a team. And for us, the tower doesn't matter. We are not running back to tower. We are playing aggressively. I, I honestly don't care. So it's not a big deal that they took it. They spent a lot of time taking it. What we did in the meantime was we focused on a rotation. The main reason they got that tower done was, for one thing, Kamazot's gank. And for another thing was mostly that rotation over to the duo lane, which I still feel like was worth it. So, I don't really care that they did that. In, an, in another lane, that could have been bad. If we were behind, it would be bad. If Kamazots was actually pressuring us and we felt like we needed to uh, to stay safe, but we really don't. Because the only, re only reason I even died there is because I played crazy aggressive. Let's get some auto attacks before the threes if we can. Gets us some good bonus damage. But as you can see, she has a breastplate done. She actually did it before her boots, which is a little interesting. So, she is going to be very hard to kill. Luckily, we do have Pestilence, so at least she doesn't heal quite as much. Yeah, take some more poke, Changa. Take some more. Can have all that you like. So let's try and get her two down, because then we can be looking for an execute. Okay. Two? Two for me? Okay, damn. Oh, there's her two. Thank you. Thank you. Let me ult again. There we go. Oh, God. So we don't have wards right now. I didn't put wards down before all that. I think Cam is... Yeah, Cam is the one who's mid. Okay. I figured I figured if they're diving at tier two tower, it was probably the Cam Zots. Luckily it is, so we're fine. So, let's go ahead and go the Sprint. I do think Sprint's going to be good here. Shiba has some big slows. Changa could go Gem of Iso. Kama has some good slow. Um, yeah, I think I think Sprint makes sense. Plus, it's just nice to have a big movement speed aura. Or big movement speed AoE, I should say. It's not really an aura. But, yeah, we're looking really good right now. We're just absolutely bullying this poor Changa. Even though she has defense online, we're still able to do enough damage to kill her. But we do need to be warding. We definitely need to be warding. So, um, we will get try and get some of those up. Let me hit you with thumb poke. Thumb poke? Thumb poke. Um, I don't know why I developed a lisp for that, that one word. Okay. Um, can you... Minion? There we go. <laughs> minion took forever to die, man. Let's go ahead and get a ward up high, which we will throw over on the small camp. Or, well, the intersection of the small camp. And we will throw a ward over on the mid camps area right here. And that way, any route that, that Kamazots takes from the upper side of the map, we will be covered. And that's going to let us rotate a lot more aggressively through their side of the jungle and be less focused on around our tower line. Down, uh, If we were playing down here, we'd want to ward more so in this area. But because we're playing up here, we want to ward so, more so in this area. He could theoretically come from way underneath, and, and I wouldn't see it coming. But that'd be very weird, because that'd be really out of the way for him. And it looks like he's going mid, so maybe we rotate mid. We don't have a tower defender or anything. Yeah, I think we rotate mid here. It's not like she's going to take my tower, you know? Ah, uh, they, they are left again. Too bad. It's a little bit of a waste of a rotation. Alright, we'll go back. Yes, yeah, so we're kind of getting the awkward phase here, where, like, I can try and rotate, but um, a lot of the time we're not going to necessarily be fighting. We don't have big objectives on this side of the map yet, so normally if we do rotate, it's a pretty long distance, and we have to make sure that it's actually worth it, and a lot of the time it's hard to tell if it's actually going to be worth it, so we probably will end up missing some farm in spots like these where we got to run all the way back down here just to go catch the wave that we missed. And sure enough, now Oppa gets ganked, and we can't do anything about it, because it's not its not that one time we were trying to rotate. It's too bad. It's kind of what it's like in this whole lane, though. Okay, they seem to want to rotate right now. Um, not really a big deal. Aphrodite's not a problem. Kamazot seems to be backing. We will take this tower, and we'll take it with pride. Okay, Afro. think a kiss is going to stop me. Do you really think a kiss is going to stop me, Afro? Okay. What? What? Did we just did we just execute through Aphrodite? Because that's a little stupid. I think it must have just worn off. There's a Kamazots coming here. Oh, good. Not like last time, please. We have a sprint if he slows us, though. Oh, Mercury looking for the counter gank. We can bait a little bit. We can bait a little bit here. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why she tooed there. I guess maybe she thought the stun was up. Her ultimate's down, this should be pretty free. Nice, good gank, good gank. Really good awareness by Mercury to come in and clean up. Huh? 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure we did that, man. That's so stupid. I actually feel bad. Yeah, if, if I, like, if I'm a little salty about it, I definitely feel like Afro would be a little salty about that. How did we, how did we execute there? I don't know what the I reason know. I'm thinking we might not have is I've played Afro recently, and I know her level 1 ult is 0.8 seconds, which is not a lot, but... But I feel like we didn't even do the 0.8 seconds. I feel like she just straight up was an ult. That's so weird. What's up? Nah, we're fine. We're fine. We're just running up at Phoenix, guys. We're just running up at Phoenix. No biggie. <laughs> this isn't dangerous. This isn't dangerous. We're not asking to get five man rotated on at all. Nah. Nah. Nah, we're good. We're good. Why is Uller taking... What is going on in duo lane? How is Uller taking two towers? What? What the... This man's two and two. Why does he have two... What? What is going... I don't understand. There's a Kamazots. What's up, my dude? We have 3k gold. This, there is everybody. This probably is not a fight we should be forcing. But, yeah, it's just... It's not a fight we should be forcing. How about that? Ugh. Okay, we immune to the slow, which is really good. Eh. This is going to get us a little farther away. Mercury's trying to turn, and I'm liking it. Can we get in with a stun? Can we get in with a stun and help out? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Uller's a little spooky, so we're going to back off. And we got the turn, man. Oh, my goodness. Now we'll back. Actually, I don't know. I guess we can try and go on Afro. I feel like there's no way we die at this point. So let's try and help out just a little bit. We'll probably not be able to get here. I think Pyro's a really good call here if team wants to group up for it. I'm even, I'm even down to tank this a little bit. Okay, somebody hit this. I'm taking damage. Okay, I'm a little scared of the ability. There's the ability. There we go. <laughs> okay, we got it. Boom. Oh, well, that was pretty good for a three-man gank and 3k gold to spend. We did pretty decent for ourselves there. That went pretty decent. So, a um, couple auto attack characters. Nimin is tempting. I think we'll go for the breastplate instead, though, because Uller is not as much of an auto attack character. He's pretty ability based, and they have enough healing. This is not something I would often do on a soul laner, but we're actually gonna go with Brawler's Beat Stick as well, because Aphrodite plus Changa is a pretty insane amount. Of, plus, Kamazots has a lot of self healing. They have a pretty nuts amount of of healing on their team, so we'll actually go for the uh, the 65% anti heal that we'll get from the combination of Pestilence plus, plus Brawler's Beat Stick. So even though it's not a defense item. It's okay. It's okay. Plus for Achilles. Achilles does pretty well with damage items compared to a lot of warriors. Oh, Changa. You're playing a risky game, my girl. You are, you are not taking much damage. Just kidding. You're probably fine. You are not taking a whole lot. Well, we got half our HP. That's not bad. It's not bad. What if we just ignore the wave? Nah, nah, nah. We'll go back on the wave. It's not worth missing farm for just a big maybe of a kill with no vision and probably getting rotated on. I think it's a no-no. So let's get some wards up around here again. Again, we'll try and ward deep because I'm not really scared and our team is ahead. So we should be fine. So let's get a ward here. And let's get a ward here. And this is going to give us really good fire giant vision. Give me your blue buff. Oh, that's a good, that's a good reset. That's a good reset. Let's go back on it. See if we can take it. There we go. She going up for the wave? Yes, she is. Trying to bait her into using her two here, because I want to try and stun her without without her using it. Now we'll go ahead and go for the stun because it seemed like she just didn't feel like it. There we go. We got her in execute. Let's stay close. Nope, nope. Stay in execute. Stay in execute, please. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> the amount of stuff we had to do right there, man. That was ridiculous. We had to hit her so many times because she had healing and she had her two. So we had to make sure we got her two down if we wanted to execute her because obviously she can just press two and avoid it. Um, what's up, Kama? I am down to fight you, man. We're only half HP, so this might be a bad fight. Okay, he's running. I don't know why. I don't know why he's the one running. It's like I've got a magic defense item. Like, I'm really not in the best spot to fight that. And he just kind of didn't care. Oh, and he backed too. Thank you for the free wave, sir. All right, we actually should back right now, though. We've got our entire team on the right side of the map. Like, we probably don't want to be too aggressive here. 
Okay, so things are looking really good right now. We're doing well all around as a team. It seems like most of our success has been from solo and in the jungle role, which really isn't a big surprise because we did, you know, we had Mercury ganking our lane early. We did really well in synergizing and getting some kills, which got both of us ahead. Mercury was able to start focusing on other parts of the map, which is very smart on his part. Not, not really a point in continuing to focus solo when we're already winning in solo. And uh, we've continued to dominate a little bit in solo and continue to be able to do stuff in team fights, bait rotations, survive the rotations. It's been really good. Haven't even been proxying much because we're just getting rotated on. I can't really, can't even really do it. All right, let's try and get some wave clear going. So I think right now the things we should be prioritizing are starting to be more and more team fight stuff because we're kind of getting to a point where there's nothing for us to do over here for the most part. You know, we can maybe get tier two tower, but that's kind of a really big if and we'll probably get rotated on for that. And because our team's not grouping up over here, we're not expecting to get like fire giant. We're not expecting to force down the tier two tower. So I think we just rotate to the team. But we'll go ahead and take another wave here. And then I think we'll see if we, we just want to look for an opportunity to do something. If it's, if they're grouping around mid, we'll try and group mid with them. See, see if we can siege down the mid tower. If they're grouping right. We'll maybe see if we can get all the way over to right lane. But obviously we don't want to, we don't want to let Changa just get a bunch of free farm and us just miss things for no reason. So we got to be smart about how we do it. Oh, can we get to this wave in time? There's a wave back here and we can't. So I guess we got to catch it up here. Yeah, I'm just kind of waiting to see when the team groups and then we'll group with them. Mercury looking for the gank. I probably shouldn't have used my clear right there. I don't know where this girl's at. She's up in lane. Looks like she wants to... I'm trying to just pin her. Yeah, so she's trying to juke me. I am trying to juke into her. Because she wanted to go towards the jungle. Now she's going back. We can sprint him here. This should be, just be a kill. He should just be able to kill her at this point, basically. What the hell? Am I lagging? I think he's lagging. Oh my god. About to get shell. Can I get it in time? No, I tried. I literally just got the cooldown. That sucks. Oh my god. He just got the best RNG of his life. What? This man has 20% crit. Am I tripping? I swear he crit me almost every auto. If not just every auto. I think he did. Wow. It, we would have died anyways. Whatever. Who cares? We're facing two ADCs with, like, no no HP. It's not a big deal. Why are we losing right Phoenix right now? Oh, my God. I don't know why that's happening. Um, as far as damage is concerned, Aphrodite and Changa are not two big damage dealers, and they're both very behind. In fact, neither of them have a kill right now. So I think definitely physical defense is the way to go, and because we are dealing with a Shipalanke and we are dealing with an Uller for a lot of the damage, I definitely feel like Mystical Mail or not Mystical Mail, Midgardian Mail, makes a lot of sense here. We're going to be able to slow them, we're going to be able to reduce their attack speed, and that should be really helpful for keeping them from pursuing kills, and also keeping them from escaping in spots where they were fighting. So if they're auto-attacking me, they get a little slowed, harder for them to get away. Similarly, if they're trying to chase down a kill and they're hitting me, like whether they're killing me or somebody else, if they're hitting me, they're going to get slowed, it's going to be harder for them to chase down that kill. So it'll be a really helpful kind of support style item for the team. What the hell is going on this game, man? The rotations are so weird. The rotations are so weird. Like, their team is just constant split pushing, and I really don't know how to feel about it. We should definitely be able to come, on, come in and clean up this fight a little bit with our anti-heal. They've got two linked healers right now, which is a little nuts, but we should be able to kind of change that quite a bit. Of course, everybody's just running right now, so maybe not. I'm waiting for Medusa to get in and actually do some things. Ultimate! Ult out. Ooh, Kamazot's feeling it a little. Still trying to keep them anti-healed if I can. Unfortunately, don't have another three there to chase him down. We can throw a sprint out. I should have thrown it a little earlier. Let's go, boys. Get him. Get him dead. Get him dead. Nice. Healing. I think we're probably going to back here in a second, but let's see if we can get anything done here. Because we did get a couple of cleanup kills. I don't think we're going to get the Kamazots, but hopefully we can do gold. What the hell just happened? What did I just see? Oh, no. She died? I could have saved her with my shell. I just, I, I don't even know. I don't even know, man. I didn't think she would die there. That's my bad. We do have to be worried about the fact that Shibalanke is right here. He's going to try and steal this. We will trust Opwa to secure because he has a ton of, he did not secure, okay. 
Okay. So his two could do around at least 500 damage, which should easily secure the Gold Fury. He used it way too early, so that it wasn't even a pro it wasn't even a mistake to not reset that there. It was literally just he just screwed that up really, really bad. I don't know how he messed it up that bad. You can see the HP. Oh well. It's not all that big of a deal. We do need wards. I should uh I should tell off my health chalice here and get it get a sentry. Late enough in the game, we don't really need the health chalice that much. Oh, this game is looking a little scary. We have a lot of kills, but they have more objectives than we do, which is absolutely stupid. I don't know what's been going on with the team for them to be getting more objectives. Like right lane, they've been getting more. Um, I guess that makes more sense. I feel like I feel like Shibalanke's, I think he's been, or, uh, it's not even Shibalanke, right? It's Uller ADC. I don't even remember now. Um, I think Medusa's been getting a little outplayed in the AD carry role, which is fine. So whatever, just a little bit. Um, and I don't know what, I don't know what happened mid because Opwa's ahead. Opwa's way ahead. I don't know how the hell they got both mid towers. Don't really know where the team is right here. We know what Afro is. We know where Changa is. I'm assuming there's nobody just, you know, crazy behind her like right here. Yeah, no, there's not. So we should be okay. Keep, keep her anti-healed if we can. Just trying to keep her from really sustaining back up too much. Yeah, she's really not healing, so we can just keep poking her down here. Although we're not doing a whole lot of damage at all. But if we can get her low enough, we'll have a uh, execute here in a second. More anti-heal going. Cha or Afro might ult this. Before we even ult. There we go. There's the ultimate from Afro. I missed. It's fine. We got the kill. Sprint. There we go. We got the dash refresh. But unfortunately, Shibalanke has speed buff. We're not going to be able to get the kill on him. Let's just try and go on the left tower. Oh, unless... So we're running? Okay. That's too bad. We can maybe go for an FG. I don't know. I feel like they can, I don't know, we've got a couple of kills, we probably can. But we definitely need to be grouped first for it. Apwa, what is that lazy, what are you doing? Do you not think they will go on you? Do you actually not think they will go on you for that? Let's see if Ula rotates in, if he rotates in we'll back out. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't stay on this. Got too many people here, damn. Oh, if Mer oh, Mercury is like zero HP, we gotta run. Retreat. He might get lazy back killed too. We'll see. We're not gonna go in there. Like, he can just get out. He's got a dash. He's got a dash and everything. He's fine. Oh, this game's getting a little tilting. Getting a little bit tilting. I feel like this should be a very easy win for us, but it's not. Um, as far as what to build next. Physical defense definitely still seems like a good idea. Still feels like most of their damage is very much physical. So I think I think Hide of the Nemean is probably the play here. In most in most games, I wouldn't want to. Ooh, we actually we make really good use of hastened on the uh, on the upgraded sprint. So we'll definitely go for that upgrade while we got the money. But in most games, I don't feel like you want to go for three physical defense items like that in the soul lane. Um, more go so for hybrid items generally. But because they are so specifically healers for magical damage, it works pretty well here. And uh, we make really effective use of Nemean and Guardian versus, versus the two ADCs they've got. And Breastplate's still pretty helpful for the cooldown reduction. If anything, we probably sell Breastplate in the late game and get something like a uh, like a Mantle of Discord instead of Breastplate once we get more money. I think we go for the fight mid here. They're pretty extended. We could look for a fight. We're pretty grouped up right here, so, you know, we're normally not grouped up. I feel like, if anything, now is the time. Just looking to force something here. Whoops, I totally forgot we had a sentry there and not a health chalice. <laughs> that was not a good sentry. That was that was not a good sentry. We've got our upgraded sprint as well here. Let's try and keep her stun chained if we can. Yeah, she's looking for the fat ult. We got her killed before she could get it. Now is a good time to sprint because we can chase down the fight. Afro should be pretty dead, although Bach is super just missed the shit out of his flop. I think she's going to be pretty dead here from our execute if we can't kill her with other stuff. Yeah, we got her with other stuff. Good. Fire, fire, fire. Let's go, boys. Let's do the fire. Let's not waste time. Kamazots is over chasing Mercury. We already got a couple of kills. Like, this is this is perfect time to be going on FG. I'm going to try and trust Opwa to secure this time, but we will also try and secure, since last time he botched it a little bit. Oh, my God. And this is why we don't put faith in people that can out-secure every god on their team. Oh, my God. For those of you guys who don't know, the way securing objectives works 
is normally your mage specifically you rely on to secure the objective by using a big ability perfect examples being uh aqua aqua corpse explosion being Ra ultimate being thoth ultimate being really any mage ultimate that's a big burst um being a lot of different things being a lot of different things and aqua corpse explosion is got to be one of the best in the game at doing that because it does a lot of diverse damage all at once so it's very easy to secure over other things we are getting fucking fragged on right now uh, <laughs> took a lot of damage there. I was planning to go on the Kamazos, but he didn't go into execute. Plus, uh, who was it? Shiba or Ulur that did a bunch of damage, so we just ran away instead. The one thing that's nice about the ultimate is you can think you're going in, and then you can turn before you actually need to. It's kind of helpful. Luckily, not everybody on their team had FG there. You can get him anti-healed at least, which will keep him from, from doing quite as much. But this is really an awkward fight for us. We're in a shell right here in advance. Hopefully we're getting that kill on Afro. We gotta be looking to run right here. We gotta be looking to run here. I, I just, I don't feel like this is the fight. We're just, Bacchus is oom, Merc has no HP, I'm low. This is not really a good spot to keep going. Yeah, so I'm trying to contribute where I can in this fight. This is a good example of where Achilles kind of suffers in the late game. I think I'm playing well. I think we're doing well here, but the problem is our big thing late game is really our ultimate. Um, having that execute, and we're not able to do too, too much with that. We have sprint soon. Hopefully we can use that to confirm the kill. Kama, come here. Don't heal. No healing. No. 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 You die too. Okay. You die in a second. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Got him. Um, yeah, so we're kind of in that stage of the game where we don't do as much just because we're more of a damage warrior and... You know, when you're building defense on a damage warrior, which is what we should do. We want to be a tankier character. We kind of want to be the backup tank to some degree. Um, you just don't contribute quite as much. So it's it's a little bit rough in terms of trying to carry this. We're doing very well. You know, we're 10 and 2. Um, been a part of 66% of the kills or so. As uh, Are you ulting, Merc? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, he's ulting. We really need Bacchus to be going in. I can't really... I can't get in close enough for a stun without just them running away and jumping. So we need Bacchus to be flopping, if anything. I can't, my man. <laughs> like, they're just going to jump away. We need Box to be going in for flops if we want a good Mercury ult. Uh, I just put... Wait, did I miss? I, I think I missed my three, but maybe not because it reset. Oh, the body block was hot from Bacchus, though. Mercury just went in and fragged their ADC, so that was great on his part. This should be a kill. 100% should be a kill. Okay, I am whiffing everything. Nice. So this should be a pretty easy mid Phoenix push. We've got everybody down except for Chonga and Kamazots. Oh, that was a okay. <laughs> what was that blink? <laughs> Dude, that was great. I love that. Oh, poor Chonga. She's just getting smashed on right now with these cooldowns. There's an ultimate. Here's an ultimate. Everybody gets an ultimate. GG. GG. Good stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you like the idea for the series, if you like the feel of it and everything. Um, that game got a little bit weird, so I wish there was some more stuff we could go into in terms of... Uh, I don't know, no, you know what? I think we I think we really mostly covered how, how Achilles plays. There's a few niche things that we're only going to be able to get in certain matchups, but uh, I feel like we actually got to get pretty good coverage from that in second thought. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you want to keep seeing more of the series, definitely let me know. I feel like you guys are going to like this series because we get pretty in-depth. We get to cover each god individually, and uh, it makes more sense because it is, uh, it's conquest instead of duel, which specifically makes um, a, lot of the, a lot of the gods work. Speed hacks. I'm assuming that's Mercury. I didn't see enough. I saw the one thing, but it didn't seem like it was, um, it didn't seem like it was intentionally. It looked like he just missed stuff. I think he just lagged out and high res, you know, there's, there's bugs with that. So I don't think he was speed hacking, but maybe he was and I missed it. I barely saw anything. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.